We built up Stanford's non-conference strength of schedule. Maybe the most difficult in the country. Week number three, they get a top 20 opponent in UCF. Mike Yam and Yogi Roth with you. All right, the Cardinal coming off of a loss. Good news, though. KJ Costello back in the lineup. We saw Davis Mills in a loss against USC. How big a boost is this for this team's offense? Oh, it's massive. You look at the game against SC, and the way it netted out score-wise, you may think, oh, SC dominated the game. But it really wasn't that story. Stanford has 17-7 lead, 20-10 lead just some inconsistencies at that position which is going to happen when you play guys and played competitive football in quite a long time so overall him coming back being the leader the catalyst this team with Walker Little their left tackle now being done for the season on the road Mike this is going to be more hostile than the Coliseum I mean, it's going to be sold out it's going to be hot in Orlando it's going to be lit for them so having a veteran like KJ will speak volumes for the program. All right, you alluded to the fact that this is going to be a stiff challenge. Give me some context here on how difficult this opponent is in UCF. Well, they're real. I mean, you look at the quarterback play, right? Brandon Winbush, Stanford knows all about him because he started at Notre Dame. They played a true freshman, uh, Dylan Gabriel, he had the start a week ago. So it's still up in the air who you're going to see, but you're going to see a confident team. Right? This is a team who thinks they've been absolutely hosed by the college football playoff over the last couple seasons with the way that they've played. They look at this opportunity as one. We're going to make our mark again, this time under Josh Heupel, their coach for the second straight year. So. This is not going to be a walk in the park non-conference game. This is a huge challenge for this program on the road, and it will speak reverberations throughout the Pac-12 conference because it is a big one. As soon as the game is over, we got you covered on Pac-12 Network throughout the course of the day, and then, of course, a deep dive into this matchup on Pac-12 Final Score.